Hey, I'm Matthew Muscoviak at CNET, and we're going to take a look at the Yamaha YAS-101 soundbar. Now, there are a ton of budget soundbars on the market right now, and they can all start to look the same, but the Yamaha here is actually worth checking out. It's $250, and Yamaha made two smart design choices with the YAS-101. The first is along the back, it has a built-in IR repeater. So if your soundbar is blocking your TV's remote sensor, the Yamaha actually shoots the signal out the back to your TV. Now that's a great solution to a problem that a lot of people have with soundbars, and it's actually the first product we've seen that has that kind of feature. The second smart move is that the Yamaha has a built-in subwoofer instead of a separate sub. That cuts down on the clutter even more, because even though most soundbars have wireless subs these days, you're getting rid of another box in your living room. And even without the separate subwoofer, the YAS-101 actually sounds pretty good when you compare it to other budget soundbars. We had it stacked right up against the Energy Power Bar, which has a separate sub, and while the Energy did make more bass, the Yamaha actually sounded better overall, especially on movies and TV shows. A budget soundbar is never going to replace a real home theater system, but it does make a big difference over the built-in speakers on your TV, and for a lot of people, that's going to be good enough. The main drawback on the Yamaha is connectivity. There are only three digital inputs on the back. There are no HDMI inputs and no analog audio inputs. Now, you can still use devices that only have HDMI or an analog audio connection, but you're going to have to route everything into your HDTV first, so the Yamaha is not going to work if you wanted to make a direct connection. It also doesn't have any wireless audio streaming features like Bluetooth or AirPlay, which are showing up on a lot of soundbars now. So if you want to stream music directly from your smartphone or tablet, you're going to need another device to use with the Yamaha. Still, those shortcomings are pretty minor, and overall the Yamaha YAS-101 is one of my top soundbar picks. It has solid sound quality, the helpful remote control signal pass-through, and the convenient built-in sub, all for $250, which is a pretty great deal. I'm Matthew Muscoviak for CNET, and this is the Yamaha YAS-101.